Hi, this is Tim with Otis College, and this is a quick video about Microsoft Word Online. In today's video, we're going to be looking at inserting a table of contents into a document. I've got this Word document about 1980s road bikes with several heading 1s and heading 2s, size heading 1 and size heading 2. And simply what, what you want to do is insert the cursor where, where you want the uh, table of contents to be inserted. So right now it's flashing in front of the title. So I'm going to hit return to create a space. And then I'm going to, it's already on references, but you need to go to the references ribbon and simply click table of contents to get the, the, the drop down menu and then click insert table of contents and it puts it in the table of contents and you can see heading ones are used as the main sections or chapters and heading twos and and smaller size head headings are used as, as subset sections in the table of contents and also if if you make a change to the document such as I'm going to go to the bottom here and I've got the brand Trek. I'm just going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to add another brand. And then it doesn't show up automatically. But if you simply click update, it adds adds the new heading. It takes the new heading that you put into the uh, document and adds it to the table of contents. This video, this quick video from OS College, has been about inserting a table of contents into Microsoft Word Online. You can click subscribe and like on this video to receive notifications of future videos. You can also watch other quick videos and other types of videos about Microsoft Office Online and other applications on the OS College YouTube channel. You can also see more videos and read articles and get other information about various applications on oscollege.com, the website for OS College. Check us out on Facebook. Quick videos are two or five minute videos about one aspect of a particular application. Uh, Microsoft Word Online is a version of, of Microsoft Word that can be accessed through any web browser on any operating system, Windows, Mac, Chromebooks, and various Linux distros. Thank you for watching this video.